What's going on guys? It's Coach Ian here with Legacy Endurance, helping you run further, faster, and more focused. And this week I'm talking to you all about how to rock the aid stations at your next race. Yes, it's a thing. Stick around. All right, guys, so we're getting close to spring marathon season, which means many of you are very close to your race. And so I wanted to give you a few tips this week on how to manage the aid stations effectively. If you're running a marathon, for example, you're going to have a lot of opportunities throughout the race to hit them. So here's a few things that you should be thinking about. First things first, know where the aid stations are going to be on the course. So on most race websites, you'll be able to find a map that shows you where you can get aid along the way, what they're serving so you can be ready for that. So it helps as you're preparing your pre-race run strategy, your nutritional strategy to know where will you get aid along the course. What are they serving is another good thing you should be looking at. Are they giving out gels, Gatorade, water? What are they serving? That way you can be prepared ahead of time so that you're actually training with those things in advance. So for example, if they're serving Gatorade on the course and you've never drank Gatorade while you're training, you may want to try that on a long run leading up to the race to see if your stomach is, can take that, if it's something that's going to work for you. So have a bit of a strategy, know where those, where those aid stations are going to be, and then you're going to be good to go when it comes to race day. You're not guessing, you're not sort of just winging it as you go through the race. The second thing is, when you get to the aid stations, we're going to talk about the cup grab. Ah! What, no, not the cup grab you're thinking of. I'm talking about the wax cups that they're going to give you with beverages in them. How do you grab that cup? Well, here's a few tips. Most of the races will have Gatorade and then water or water than Gatorade. They'll have people ready to go. Sometimes it's all mixed up. So it's very important that as you're coming into an aid station, you know in your mind what it is that you want to get and you go looking for it and you're paying attention. If you're listening to music, shut your music off so you can hear. Most of the volunteers will be yelling out what they have. I like to point to the person that I'm going to take water or Gatorade from. I like to call it out and say water, Gatorade, so that they know that I'm going to get the right thing and they put the right thing in my hand. There's nothing worse than asking for Gatorade, getting water, and then you're scrambling at that aid station, losing precious time, fumbling and getting frustrated. So find what you're looking for. Find the person that you're going to grab it from. Make eye contact. Point Yo. whatever you want to do so that there's, there's a bit of a connection there and then grab your water. Now here's a tip with the wax cups. This is a very silly thing, but a lot of times people spill their water all over the place. My little pro tip, if you will, is to pinch the top of the cup. You know, pinch it off and give yourself a bit of a, a bit of a, you know, kind of like a little spout at the end. That way, as you're running, you can continue to run. You don't have to stop. You can, you can take a little bit of time without spilling it all over the place. So most courses are good at sort of filling it half full, so you'll be able to do that no problem. So pinch the cup, keep going, don't stop. My personal strategy is I usually go for a Gatorade and a water when I go through. I'll drink a Gatorade and then I'll grab a little bit of water from the next person. I'll usually use that just to swish out, you know, clear out my mouth. And then I'll maybe grab a third water, dump it over my head. I'm a super salty sweater, so that's my technique. But think about that. It's funny. It's the little things in a race that you practice and think about ahead of time that are really important. So something as small as how you're going to grab the cup, what are you going to drink, what's your strategy, those types of things are really important so that you're not having to think too much come race day. Now here's the thing with aid stations. Don't walk through the aid stations if possible couple reasons why. Number one is you're going to lose time. I know it sometimes gets scrambly and there's a lot of people going through at the same time, but if you walk, you're losing precious time. So try and run through those aid stations. Practice, you know, if you have to practice going through an aid station, practice grabbing water, practice drinking while you're running, that kind of stuff. But the other reason why is especially in the later stages of a run, if you start to walk, there's something that goes on in your brain that says, hey, this feels really good. I'm going to walk now. I've been caught myself in late stages of a marathon where I think I'm just going to walk through this one aid station. I just need a quick second here to regroup and it just kills you. So don't walk through that aid station. Run right through it if you can. Tell yourself you're going to continue to run through. Don't lose time and don't let your mind think it's time to shut your body down. Run through that aid station. Now here's another little tip I'm going to give you as well. Most of the aid stations will have gels later on in the races. They'll have maybe bananas or something often in the late stages of a marathon, for example. You might have something else available to you. Think about that. Maybe you want to take that. Maybe you don't. 
The other thing you might want to be thinking about if it's a hot day is for me, I carry salt tabs. If it's super hot, I'm a really salty sweater, so I will take salt tabs throughout the course of the race. I use a little thing like this. It's a very simple little little package. It's, it's super small. I can stick a couple salt tabs in this, tucks right in the side of my into the side of my shorts. It's easy to get, it's waterproof, and that way I can as the aid station is coming up, I can pop it open, I can grab myself a salt tab, get the Gatorade, and I'm good to go. So this is super easy. If you're not familiar with the gels that the course is serving, you can pack those yourself in your fuel belt, your race belt, whatever you want to carry. I personally don't carry water with me. I don't like to carry extra weight, so I rely heavily on the course, which is why it's a good idea to practice with what they're serving beforehand. If you've got a sensitive stomach and you're very specific, no problem. Just try and minimize how much stuff you're carrying on the course, which will really, really help you. So that's your tip of the week. Rock that aid station. Don't walk it. Have a plan. Make sure you're ready to go. Practice it if you have to. It's a very silly little thing, but it could mean a matter of your PB, a BQ, whatever that might be. So don't take those aid stations for granted. I hope you liked this week. I'd appreciate it if you did click that like button below. Click the subscribe button below and we'll keep you updated. We're trying to post at least one or two videos every single week. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll respond to every single one. Have a great week, guys. Happy running and we'll talk to you next week.